Hello, hello, welcome to Keen Ear. Now this is my take on uh, 10 questions on uh, the subject of, you know, YouTube video makers and that kind of thing that's uh, been circulating recently and yeah, I just wanted to take part of it some good questions on here. So let's begin with question number one, which is, uh, what's more important to you, views or subscribers? Well, with me, I, I kind of lean a little bit more towards... Uh, views simply because you know when you make a video it's kind of nice you know to see uh, you know if people actually watched it and that kind of thing you know it kind of gives you some uh, some encouragement I suppose to kind of you know it doesn't feel like such a waste of time I suppose that's the best way of putting it you know it doesn't feel like a huge massive waste of time you know when you, you make a video and you kind of you know people actually see it and hopefully people enjoy it as well so yeah I think I lean more towards views than than subscribers Okay, question number two is, uh, what do you have an optimum length for a video? Uh, I, I'd kind of love my videos to be like uh, about the 10 minute mark, you know, around that sort of thing. No more than 15 minutes really, but it can be tricky, it can be very tricky, particularly if you're like me and you're prone to just ramble on and talk too much. And uh, I don't really uh, edit my videos as well, you probably noticed this, so, you know, they can kind of get baggy very, very easily. But yeah, if I could get around that 10 minute mark, I'd be, you know, for every single video, I'd be very happy indeed. We'll have to wait and see. I think most of the videos I post, well, recently anyway, I've got like two and they've been over 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm well off that mark. So anyway, question number three, is it a chore to, this is like a three part question, this one. I'll answer the first part first. Is there a chore to make videos? Uh, not really, no. Uh, I just kind of do it when I've got the time or when I've got the... You know, feel like that I want to make it. You know that sort of thing. You know, it's like a, I feel like I want to do it. I kind of do it. It did become a bit of a chore before I stopped. You know, when I went on a hiatus, and uh, that's usually a sign that you either you know you need to take a break from it, or you know you need to change things up a bit. Maybe do do something different in your videos. You've never done before. You know, think of something new, a new topic, or whatever it may be. Maybe just change things up. You know. They break break the kind of a, a routine or whatever it might be. No, I don't get a. I don't feel like it's a chore to where uh, to make videos generally. Uh, we'll have to see how much of a chore it is when I you know, start my other job. You know, I've got a one job on the go at the moment, and when I get back to the other one, maybe it'll become a bit of a chore then. Maybe if I don't have as much time, but we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait and see on that one. That's the jury's out with that. Well, uh, anyway, the next part is: uh, Are you addicted? Uh, not really, no. I think I'm more addicted to watching videos on YouTube than I am actually making videos. I could do without making videos quite easily, I think, but watching them, that's a whole different ball game. it really is. Uh, do you get nervous? Uh, not really, no. I think the main reason for that is because, uh, you know, I'm only talking about records and things and David Bowie and Roxy Music and Queen and things, you know, generally on this channel, you know, and the Beatles and sorts of things like that. I'm not really talking about, you know, politics or religion or anything like that that could potentially upset someone or whatever, or, you know, make them want to hurt me or whatever. So, yeah, or, or just be, you know, something that I'll face a lot of backlash against saying. So, yeah, I'm not really that nervous. I'm just talking about records and things. So it's kind of, it's kind of pretty safe, really, I'd imagine. Although you still got to be careful what you say, of course, you know, you, you, know, you rub someone up the wrong way, you know, you'll know about it sooner or later. Well, anyway, that's question three. Question four, how do you re react to bad comments? Uh, now, this is something that's not necessarily just unique within sort of YouTube, really. This is something that you could use for YouTube and really outside of YouTube, which is, you know, just in your general daily life. And that is when you get you know, negative comments, you've kind of got to divide, divide it up into two sorts of categories you've got. You've got non-constructive and constructive criticism. And really when it comes to the non-constructive criticism, you kind of just got to ignore that and forget about it. But when it comes to non-constructive uh, criticism, you know, the non-constructive, forget about that. But the constructive criticism, you really got to take at least aspects on board of what somebody's saying. And then you can use that in your kind of, you know, in terms of making videos, you can use that to see your advantage and hopefully make better videos, you know, and, and that kind of thing. Or you can, if it's outside of YouTube, you know, make you a better person just in general. So, you know, criticism isn't always bad. You know, you got to tell maybe a, 
and, and negative into a positive and take on board maybe what somebody's saying. Maybe it's a way of learning, it's a way of getting better, it's a way of improving and sort of that sort of thing. So, yeah, don't don't be so kind of thin-skinned. Just kind of, you know, know when somebody's maybe trying to give you advice and that kind of thing. Some, of course, some people are just plain rude and, you know, it's not much you can do about that, unfortunately. There is only one type of comment that, uh, you know, I've had in the past and I've seen other people have it as well, which kind of somewhat annoyed me, which was when, uh, you know, I'd, I'd make a video and I'm not a professional journalist, you know, I'm not a professional uh, filmmaker, I'm not a, uh, you know, I'm not using professional equipment or anything like that. I'd make a video and I'd post it and somebody would say, oh, this video is not very professional. It's like, yeah, you know, well, no shit, it's not, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's like, no shit, so, yeah, the, that kind of annoyed me, you know, I've had that a few times, and I can't, that's kind of irritates me, you know, and other, I've seen it posted on other people's sort of uh, videos, you know, similar to this, and it's like, what do you expect, you know, you know, there's plenty of other videos, you know, on, on YouTube that are, are more professionally made, you know, if you want to watch them, but, you know, this, this isn't, this isn't one of them, put it that way, but anyway, Moving on now to question number five. Uh, do you buy records to show them on the channel? Uh, not really, no. No, I, I kind of don't. The only time I kind of factors into it in any shape or form is when I buy a record and then I think, oh, this will be quite nice to show. But it's never like, oh, I'll buy this to show. It'll be, it's always like, oh, I've bought this. It'll be, you know, it'll be a fun thing to show on the channel. You know what I mean? And that's kind of the end of it. I think if you do go down that road of buying stuff purely to show, it's something that you don't really care that much about, it's not something that you don't really want, I think that's like a fast track way of ending up with a house full of crap that you don't really want. It's really, that's something I very much advise people not to do really at all. You know, if you're buying stuff purely just to show it, it's not a good idea, it really isn't. No, just it, only buy stuff that you really particularly want. And, uh, you know, that's, of course, that's you know, maybe if you've got your channel that's very, very popular and, you, you know, it's your job and, you, you know, you want to show things that way to talk about it and review it, maybe that's a bit different. But if you're buying things just to show and, like, hardly anyone sees it, really, generally, when you've got a small channel, it's not your main source of income. That's, that's definitely not something you should really be doing. That's, that's something I very much advise against not doing. You're going to end up with with a whole house and a whole garage and a whole warehouse full of crap that you literally do not want and you're going to have to pay to get rid of it. It's, it's, that's a slippery slope. But anyway, moving on now to question number six. How would you like to improve your videos? And I kind of mentioned this already. I kind of just like to make them a bit shorter, you know, just generally about the 10 minute mark, which I'm, I've noticed I'm kind of heading towards now. So yeah, just, just around, just make them shorter really and more concise. I'd like to maybe come up with a few more better ideas than they generally do. And that sort of thing, you know, if I come up with a good idea, you know, I could, you know, or two, that'd be nice, you know, anytime soon. But uh, yeah, just generally that, really. So moving on now to question number seven. What are your thoughts on live streams? Uh, I, I've never done a live stream. I don't really watch them that much. You know, I don't really watch other people's a great deal either. It, it's maybe something to think about maybe one day, but not really. It's not really my, my kind of thing. I like those YouTube, uh, YouTube videos where they get a live stream for like eight hours. You know, like a huge live, well, maybe not eight hours, but you know, it's a huge uh, live stream that maybe somebody's done. And in the hours and hours that they've been, they've been, you know, recording for, they get like 20 minutes of actual good footage out of those many, many hours and they pull them all together and it's kind of quite entertaining. But generally it's just a lot of people kind of just reading comments that somebody's typed out and it's not really what I consider to be generally anyway that entertaining. But it's it's all right now and again, but I'm nothing against it. I'm just not really, not really hugely that into it really. But anyway, moving on, question number eight. What is your most viewed video and are you surprised? I think it's something like a... A video where I go around a record fair or a record shop or something like that. I think it's a record fair in Liverpool or something like that. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it is one of them. And yeah, it's I'm not, I'm not too surprised really. It's just you know, it's, it's, I suppose it's something that's kind of people find an interest in. You know, go, look, you know, because I kind of like watching those videos as well. You know, going around record shops and record fairs, seeing what what's available. 
you know, even though it's kind of a bit pointless, really, because, you know, you're not there and it happened ages ago or whatever. But, yeah, they, they, they do seem to be uh, quite popular them, so it's not really a huge surprise. And I think it's just nice to kind of, you know, see what it's like in a record fair in a particular country or whatever, you know. I've seen a few in America and that kind of thing, you know, and I've never set foot in America, so, you know, it's kind of just different to see what what's it like in other countries, you know, when these type of things how the prices vary, how does you know the atmosphere change and that kind of thing. Just how the, just general, you know, that sort of thing really, you know, general record interest, you know, kind of deep record interest I suppose that some people have. But anyway, moving on now to question number nine. Have you ever made a video without wearing trousers? Uh not really. I think I watched shorts a few times and that kind of thing. You know, for the five minutes that we get summer in the UK. You know, maybe wore a pair of shorts instead of a pair of pants or whatever. But no, I, I, I can't. I tend to wear, you know, things to kind of keep me warm. You know, because this room is actually really freezing cold as well. But in the in the in the, in the winter, you know, this is a really this, this room requires a heck of a lot of energy to keep you know even moderately warm. So yeah, it's a bit of a the idea of wearing very little in terms of clothing. It's not really very appealing in, in this room, to be honest, where I make most of my videos. Uh, but anyway, moving on now to question number 10, the last one. How long do you intend to carry on making videos? Uh, uh, I'm not too sure, really. You know, I'd like to... I think what I'd like to do is just make, like, a good series of videos that kind of cover my entire collection. And then just maybe occasionally doing a collection update. And then that would kind of be, I don't know how many videos that would take to do exactly, but you know, that's that's what I'm kind of aiming for really, just have so many videos that cover my collection, because I'm not really planning on buying hugely more records anyway, so I think once I've kind of covered every aspect of my collection, and I've talked about the things that I want to talk about really in the channel, I don't really know how many, how much longer it's going to take, really just maybe just dip in, into the channel now and again, whenever the mood fan takes me. But uh, that's a tough one, really. You know, who knows? Who knows what, what's around the corner? You know, nothing's guaranteed. But I think what I'd do if I was to stop, like I did, you know, I've kind of put went on a hiatus for a couple of years. I think if I was to do that again, I'd probably make a video informing people that that's going to be the case. Maybe one thing I regret doing is just stop making videos and then that's it. I'd probably make a video and say, yeah, I'm kind of taking a break or I'm stopping or whatever, you know, just to keep people up, up to date. But well, anyway, that's it. That's it for this video. Got through 10 questions in just over, what, just under 13 minutes. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, so thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll keep an eye open for another one of these because I kind of do enjoy making these like a uh, question. It's kind of very easy. Just write the questions down, go through them. And uh, yeah, you don't really have to think too much, I suppose, which is always a great thing for me, you know. But anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.